Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do this um, baby doll mini dress. This is how it looks like on the front and on the back it has angel wings. So if you want to watch uh, me show you how to do this, then just keep watching. So this is just a blank t-shirt. It's um, a large. I got it at Michael's for $3. Okay, so from earlier to now, I just cut off the sleeves and the collar from the shirt and then I stretched it out, the places that I cut. I just cut along the seam lines, that's all I did. Okay, and so for this next part, I just put the shirt on and for the baby doll area, I want to mark off with a marker or whatever you want to use um, the top and the bottom of where you want the baby doll to be. So, like, I want the bottom to be like under here, my bust here. So, I'm just going to kind of mark it across. And for this part, I just put it on the floor. And then you can see my lines there that I made. I just kind of defined them more when I took it off. And then I just went over them with my marker another time to make it straight. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to make like hash marks, tick mark type things that go across the lines. You want them to be maybe like an inch tall. For this next part, I'm going to use the hatch marks that I made. And I'm going to use my scissors to cut them. Now that that is done, you can see all the little slits that she made in the shirt. What you're going to do now is going to just pull the shirt and stretch the little slits that she made. After I stretched it, um, these are my two rows. I ended up cutting them out to make them two inches long each so because they're easier to work with. Okay, so I'm going to start weaving them from left to right. I'm going to take the first two strings and then pull the second under the first and then put my fingers through that and then grab the next one. And then I'm just going to pull that through and then grab the next one also. Now that I'm at the end, this extra loop right here, I'm just going to cut that in half and then what I'm going to do is, since they're tiny, I'm going to take this one of the strips and then I'm just going to cut that down the middle here and stretch it out a little bit and then just tie that around the loop that it's underneath and then do the same thing to the second one. And I just stretch this top part out. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. Now I put on the shirt, you can see the baby doll in the front, and when I stretched it out, on this side you can still kind of see the hold area from the beginning. Uh, to get rid of that, you just pull the extra, the first loop here, and then just pull that until it's flattened out. And then I'm going to cut that in half and just tie it around. For the strips, I'm just going to take um, the sleeve that we cut off earlier and I'm just going to cut strips vertically through. Just pull apart, it'll snap in the middle because of the seam, and then that is your string. And just stretch them up. And after I cut out the long strips, I'm just going to loop it under the sleeve here and tie it in a knot up here in a little bow. 
And so now I laid the back side of the shirt facing up and it's just flat out as much as I could. I'm going to start drawing the wing design onto my back here. And I'm just going to draw one side. You want it to be on one of the halves so that when you fold it in half and cut it out, then it'll cut on the other side identically. And so now this is my finished wing design. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the back side and find the middle of both the hems and then just hold it in half. Now it's laid down flat. Just uh, make, and make sure and check that there's no wrinkles so that when you cut the lines it won't cut differently on the other side. So then you just cut along the lines here. Careful not to snip any of the little lines in the middle. Now that is my finished cutout of the wings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull gently on each of the little string edges. And so this is the finished product. Just stretch these out here and just arrange it till it looks the way that you want it. And this is the front of the mini dress. And this is the back with the angel wings. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that my instructions were useful enough that you could duplicate one of these. So. Um, hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.